Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, so it is time to be blunt with your homie, the one, the only, William J. Hunt. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Um, it is Monday morning, uh, better known as my Thursday, thank God. It would be my Friday, but I went ahead and switched up my schedule, so that kind of sucks. But, uh, but yeah, so I noticed uh, yesterday online um, a professional referee for uh, wrestling, uh, Tim White, uh, passed away at the age of 68 years old, and most of you won't know who Tim White was, um, and that's okay, and I can't think of any huge matches that he refed, um, that, you know, just come right off the top of my mind, so, um, but I guess my point of it is, is that we're all, like, I'm finally getting that age now, and I, not that there's any designed age, but I feel like I'm getting that point in my life now where all the childhood heroes and memories and things like that like I'm just gonna slowly start watching all these people just fall off the map you know and I think about that when I was younger my grandfather used to talk to me about some of the actors and actresses of his time you know um uh, greats so many greats uh but one I remember is him talking about Judy Garland you know and Judy Garland basically stove or starved herself to death and you know it just I, I don't think my grandfather was a huge fan of Judy Garland, but he, it, my point to this is that you slowly start watching all those that you once watched die, you know, and, oh, that's morbid as shit, but, and it sucks, because you just slowly start seeing all these people that you enjoyed to see or watch or, you know, uh, my girlfriend and I watched the special on Bob Saget the other day um, on Netflix. If you guys haven't watched it, you really should. It's got Jeff Ross, Jim Carrey, Chris Rock's in there for a little bit, John Stamos. Um, yeah, it's just, and it's a look back, of course, on, you know, how much he, Bob Saget touched everybody, you know, and not in a Michael Jackson type way. <laughs> but, and so after that, I listened to his stand up comedy for like four days straight. Every trip I made from here to Monmouth or back to Grand Ron, that's all I was listening to, you know. And it makes me realize that we all gotta, we all want to be remembered, like all of us. When our time comes, I think everybody wants somebody to say something good about them, you know. So if we haven't hit that mark yet, that we feel that people are gonna be able to remember us in the most positive way possible, then what do we do? Like, what's our, what's our main game plan? Like, for me, people always tell me I should do stand-up. People tell me I should do all sorts of stuff. You know, I should be streaming and I should be doing videos and, you know, all this stuff. But who am I? You know, I'm just some guy who goes to work all the time. And, you know, I'm not a young teenager. I'm not super popular. But I guess the point of it is, is that this is something that people will be able to look back, all my crazy goatee moments, and be able to realize, like, Oh, I just saw a fucking orb. Um, just be able to realize that I left something for people to remember me by. You know, somebody can look at these videos and laugh or think or I doubt cry. Well, maybe crying when, like, there's a lot of Blunt Man videos to watch. But I just, what is your moment? What is your thing that you want somebody to remember you by? What do you want to be remembered for? You know, like... Or do you even want to be remembered? You know, I guess that's really it. Everybody wants something different. You know, some people just want off this rock. And I just want enough time to where people will remember who the hell William was. And I think, like, I wish I could come back the next day after it all goes awry and watch what people say and watch what people post and, you know, or don't post or don't say, <clears throat> you know. So, yeah, I didn't really know what I was going to say when I started this video up and I don't know for a fact that I actually said something that was coherently I don't know I just I just know those that day's coming and when it does get here what are we going to be remembered for you know um and maybe sit back and just think about that and not even being remembered just what do you want the lasting... Yeah, to be remembered. What's the lasting impression that you want on your family? You know, I'm not excited about dying. And when that time comes, I'm sure, depending on how quick it is, whether it's a shark or a car accident or what, but if I got time and they're like, Mr. Hunt, you're probably dying, I'm probably going to be a big, huge bitch because I don't want to die. And even when 
10 years from now or 40 years from now at 83 years old, I'm not going to be excited about taking that last breath because that shit freaks me out, man. And, and even then, you know, but at least I could say I left the world with something. There goes another orb and another one right there. And I've got the chills like a mo, and my hair is standing on my arms and you guys can't see it, but my facial hair grew about an inch. So yeah, uh, ghost hunting while well, making blunt man videos. That's what I'll be known for. The orb guy or the dirty specks of dust in his car that kept moving around in no said manner or even went back into the frame. So you know how dust does. So everybody have a wonderful day. It is almost six minutes in. I didn't say damn thing. I'm going to take a toke and make my day happen. I will talk to y'all then. Peace.